wonder here another video. Hey man, we got a banger today. Why y'all ain't tell me about this one, man? How great was Larry Bird's prom? Y'all ain't tell me about this one. Y'all said I, I finished all the Larry Bird videos. It's still somewhere out there. And, and I came across this one. I was like, I don't think I did this one. I think I did something similar to this one, but I ain't, I don't think I really did this one. So we're gonna tap into it, but make sure y'all subscribe. Like I said, we're gonna roll to 2,000 subscribers. 2,000, bro. Let's go get it, man. Let's go get it. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get to it. Is fast becoming one of the most divisive characters in basketball history, with How some was recognizing Bird, Bird as Ugh, the here. greatest player of all time. While one of the some greatest. Have him dropping out of the top ten altogether. This coming in recent years amid the it, rise it, of this it. current crop of NBA talent, coupled with mounting narratives of the alleged physical inferiority of other eras. Oh well, you know he was being guarded yeah. by plumbers and firemen. And Larry oh. Bird, he was. JJ keeping it real. I'm just hey, he was. Presents a major dilemma, Look at him. which is on the rise as of late across the board in all of the major sports. How do you weigh different eras? How can you cross compare different players? You, you feel me? I ain't gonna I mess with Larry, bro. I ain't. I, I really do, bro. But I'm gonna be honest, bro. It didn't seem like nobody was guarding JJ right, bro. As much as y'all don't like the statement he said, bro, he's right, bro. Y'all have to accept it, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Might have Beyond. existed decades apart from one another, played against varying levels of competition Kobe. and in starkly contrasting league-wide environments. How can you factor in elongated time of play and peak performance extension amid technical advancements in nutrition, supplementation, training philosophies, and implementation? Fundamentally, the answer is complex. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But one element of comparison is easy. How dominant were you in your own time? How right. much did you excel against the competition within your own Oh, era? he excelled a and lot. how feared were you? And Larry Bird has won. Oh, yeah, Larry Bird topped all that. I ain't gonna, everything he said, he topped all that. He was the best in his time, the most feared. I could nobody mess with him, bro. I'm just keep it plain and simple. The shorter careers of any all-time great in NBA history, as he was drafted with the number six overall pick in the 1978 draft by the Boston right. Celtics at the age of 22. But Bird and then he still went back to college. Though. He still he got drafted, did another year of college, came back and dominated, bro. Imagine if he would have got another year early in. Or imagine if he played in the 90s. I'm going to be honest. He probably would have got whooped by Jordan. Yeah, I, I said it. <laughs> to return but, to Indiana State for his senior year in college and forego uh, entry come into the NBA until the following 1979 season at the age of 23. And on mm. November 15th, 1988, just six games into the season, Bird would be diagnosed with debilitating bone spurs on both Achilles that would require immediate season-ending surgery. And at the age of 32, Bird would miss that entire season and postseason, leaving many to speculate that Bird's career was- You know, every time I think about it, I think about that, uh, that document. That document I watched for not too long ago, but man, look, he was still fighting through it though. That's what. That's why I really mess with Larry. Like, you're not gonna find players that really play through their injuries now. Like, season-ending injuries, bro. He's playing through a lot. Respect, over. bro. And years later, Larry himself admitted he should have retired following the Achilles surgeries. Don't matter. However, still going the crazy. next season, at the age of 33, Bird returned and played 75 of a possible 82 games while averaging 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists per game in Jesus. 39 minutes a night. Load management be damned. <laughs> but the no. decline would set in sharply, and Bird's reluctance to miss games or sit out nights throughout his career, coupled with his intensely physical style of play, took its toll. In all, during his final four seasons, Bird missed 142 of a possible 328 games, and that was after missing only 27 total games over his first nine years in the NBA. 
Due Look, to the sharp fall off amid a body that quickly failed him, Larry Bird played a total of only 897 regular season games and 164 playoff games. That's a nice ratio. That's a nice ratio. Throughout mm -hmm. his entire NBA career. Compare that to the self-proclaimed GOAT, who many believe has surpassed Larry Legend in recent years as the greatest small forward in NBA. Let's talk about it, bro. It's that time, bro. Let's talk about it, bro. My opinion. Drum roll, please. LeBron is over Larry Bird now, bro. Whether y'all like it or not, bro, LeBron is over Larry Bird, bro. And I'm going to just say this, bro. I'm I'm going to just say this. Le LeBron now is the the king of the king of the kings. Like multiple ring scoring champion, bro. MV multiple in like, bro. Y'all have to accept it, bro. I, I don't care what y'all saying now. Oh, the game easy, the game this and that. Oh, he doing this. Bro, y'all got to evolve with the game. Just because you just because you win and you feel me, y'all said the uh, the in-season tournament wasn't nothing. Y'all got to evolve with the game. That's what they adding now. Later down the line, y'all, I'm pretty sure, I, I promise y'all, y'all going to be adding that to everybody's resume. But since Larry, I mean, not Larry, since LeBron won it first, y'all not, y'all not taking it serious, bro. Like, what? Y'all got to evolve with the game, man. Y'all old heads still stuck in the past, bro, but y'all missing out on greatness. Yes, LeBron James is over Larry Bird. Bro. <laughs> Save the clip, bro. A history. That one so right there made me the greatest player of all time. Yes, LeBron James. It is. James has played to date in 1,703 combined regular season and playoff games. Nearly 700 more total exactly. games. Exactly. He taught he dang near times two Larry Bird games. How can you tell me Larry Bird is better than LeBron and he didn't even play half a LeBron game? Like, come on, bro. Come like let that sink in for real. He got hurt, unfortunately, bro. I I'm sorry. But he's just not over LeBron. Then Larry Bird played, and LeBron is moving on to season number 21 and counting. 21. It is conceivable and that James will end up playing in twice the amount of games as Larry Bird. Is that it's no wonder James and other all-time great players dwarf Bird's statistical accumulation with the relatively limited career Bird had in terms of time played. But in understanding the context of his blood on his dirt. from a Please peak standpoint, photos. and when factoring in the NBA built or wait a minute, Doctor J just I ain't gonna I gotta watch some more. I'm so I know this is a Larry Bird video, but I just seen that yammer slammer dammer. I'm not gonna lie. I have to get one of his videos. That was just crazy. Around him at the time, Bird produced arguably one of, if not, the best primes ever. Coming into the league the same season as Now Bird. I'm not gonna lie, I agree, bro. His whole story, his whole background story, his whole story was just ultimately great, bro. Ultimately great, bro. We gotta be top ten in, in, in like the, the stories on how he built with the Celtics, but LeBron's story, straight out of high school. You feel me? Everybody think everybody thought he was gonna be number one. And he proved that to this day. Everybody thinking he's gonna be this oh his this great guy, bro. He's still proving that to this day, bro. Twenty one years later, the same, bro. The same guest old boy had back in the, yeah. He's still that guy. I'm I, like it's just. I'm sorry, y'all. I I'm sorry. Magic Johnson in 1979, it would be Bird that won Rookie of the Year that season, while also being named to first team All NBA and making the NBA All Star team Damn. in just his rookie Come season. Come here, boy. And from that 1979 1980 season, Bird would be named first team All NBA for the first nine seasons of his career, Damn. while the Celtics would make. I ain't gonna lie, did LeBron do that? The first nine seasons, I don't know if he did that, bro. I don't, I might be wrong, bro. I I gotta look at LeBron resume. I, I, that is crazy though for Larry Bird. 
conference finals over those nine seasons. And this Eastern Conference was a far cry from that of the Chosen Ones era that he feasted on, which was one of the historically weakest conferences ever. But the Eastern Conference of the 1980s was- No, that was not the weakest, no. Y'all gotta stop saying that. Brown was putting on for that season. Our conference. This decade saw one of the greatest teams in NBA history in that conference. The 1983 Moses Malone and Julius Irving led Philadelphia. Short throw Irving, boy. It had the Bad Boys Pistons, the Dominique Wilkins Atlanta Hawks, a perennial 50 win Milwaukee Bucks team, and Michael Jordan. There were no easy series in the Eastern Conference playoffs during the decade of the 1980s, yet Larry Bird found his way to five NBA Finals over the first nine years of his career. And his reward for battling through the gauntlet of those stacked Eastern Conference playoff fields was meeting one of the greatest teams ever assembled in the NBA Finals from the Western Conference. The Celtics and Larry Bird had the misfortune of running up against the LA Lakers in three NBA Finals, led by arguably two top five players ever, Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, a team that also had top 50 all-time player and perennial. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, that Lakers team was. I honestly, bro, the way they team, they roster was set up, I feel like they should have won every year, bro. Like they had everybody they needed to, bro. And Larry Bird still shut that down all-star James Worthy as a third option. Yeah, Bird lost to that team twice in the NBA Finals for his only two Finals losses. But he also beat that team in the NBA Finals right. for one of his three Finals wins. Oh, and also beat the Hakeem Olajuwon Rockets in another NBA Finals. The accumulated number of elite high-end opponents Bird faced throughout his nine-year run puts him in the running of having acquired some of the most difficult rings in league history. But this should come as no surprise. Since Honestly, Larry that, 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 that. That series right there was the Hakeem, he not to be played with. And I'm pretty sure nobody on the Celtics is really messing with him for real. I, I don't know. I got to really, let me know if y'all really want me to watch that. I'll, I'll watch that because I want to see how Hakeem, I just dropped the Hakeem video. Y'all go check it out for real. I want to see how you really played against the Celtics. Because they had a nice little structured team. I'm not going to lie. Bird was one of the most high they leverage said, winners the sport of basketball oh yeah. has ever seen. Oh, he gets down there. We're just 32 and 50 and 29 and 53. The two seasons prior to Bird's arrival. But in just his first season in the NBA as a rookie, Bird elevated the Celtics from 29 wins to 61 and took Boston all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. And over the nine year run until his dual Achilles surgery practically ended his career, the Celtics won an average of 61 games a year and never Dang. won fewer than 57. During that nine year prime, beginning in his rookie season at the age of 23 and running until his double Achilles surgery at 32, Bird averaged 25 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, a double double, and two steals per game while shooting 50% from the field, 38% from the three-point line, and 88% from the free throw stripe. During that nine-season run, Bird finished top five in MVP all nine seasons, with an absurd four second-place finishes during that time and three first-place finishes. His four runner-ups were to Moses Malone twice, Julius Irving, and Michael Jordan. His three league MVPs were won consecutive. But that was rookie Jordan too. That was that that wasn't that wasn't the Jordan that we see. That was rookie Jordan he went up against. I'm tired of y'all with the Jordan slander, bro. Put it out, man. Over the span of 1984 to 1986. He wasn't even developed yet, for real. That had Magic Johnson, Ooh. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Moses Malone, Julius Irving, Dominique Wilkins, Charles Barkley, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Pass. Michael Jordan. In the 1980s era, 
an era defined by arguably the greatest collection of high-end historical NBA talent. The case that Larry- Now I think about it, I ain't gonna lie, the 80s did have a lot of people though, but like, I still feel like Larry Bird, like when I watched his highlights, for some reason, bro, it didn't seem like nobody was guarding him. The way they should have, I don't know. Bird was the greatest player of them all during that decade is an easy one to make. So while players that have played drastically longer than him might have stacked more stats than him, what if the question was how dominant were you in your own time? How much did right. you excel against the competition within your own era? And how feared were you as a player? Under those parameters of evaluation, it is clear that Larry Bird still stands on an island with very few guys. He ain't long. It's Larry, it's Larry Legend, bro. They go Jordan, Ron, Bird, bro. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Jordan, Ron, Bird, bro. If we if we put them three together, bro, I'm gonna just that's the list, bro. I ain't putting nobody else in that list. Just Jordan, Bird, and Bron. Who do y'all have? Who do y'all have? Let, let me know in the comment section. But man, I enjoyed this video. Man, this is a great video, man. I'll be honest, but. I just gotta, like I see, I gotta evolve with the game. Man. I'm tired. I'm tired of that, man. Give LeBron his respect, bro. Give it, give it, give it. But give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We're gonna roll to 2,000. Let's go get it, man. Comment what y'all wanna see. And we on to the next one.